Hello, beautiful soul. It's Kirsten with Kismet, and it is time for the weekly affirmation. So this week's affirmation is, I have the knowledge and power to make good choices. I have the knowledge and power to make good choices. I can't tell you how often I hear, even in my own head, these words. I can't do it. I can't do it. Whatever it might be to make a change, change, you know, whether it's related to a job, a relationship, a habit, uh, try something new. Um, for example, starting to date or perhaps um, learning to cook or a new skill at work that you've been asked to do, something related to technology. I actually used those words a few years ago with these videos saying, I can't do it. But here's the thing. We do have the power and the knowledge. Get my little card out here to make good choices, to make choices that empower us. And a lot of times those choices are related to change, are related to making a shift or pivot in our lives. And we get paralyzed by the fear of what the outcome may be. We're worried that it'll turn out terrible. That'll be something negative, that we won't succeed that we become basically immobile in our ability to make a choice. Because it's safer not to make the choice than to make the choice and fail in the most grandiose fashion. I have been guilty of this on many occasions where instead of taking any type of action or making any type of choice, I just stay stuck because even though I might be unhappy in my stuck place, at least I feel safe in my stuck place. I don't know if you're tracking with me on this, but it happens because that fear of making that choice to go in a direction where we don't know, where we push our own abilities and skills and comfort zone isn't something that any of us want to do because it just feels uncomfortable. And what if we can't succeed? You know, here's the thing about failure. It really doesn't exist. You either try and learn or you try, learn, and succeed because the majority of people don't just try something and are perfect at it. But the key to doing something and learning something and growing is to continue to try, to continue to learn and discover and explore. And if that can be the basis for what you are living your life from that need to discover, to embrace, and to learn about yourself, guess what? You're never going to make a bad choice if that's the outcome. Never going to make a bad choice if that's the outcome. Hmm. Kind of love that, don't you? So if you're here on this planet to embrace your authentic self, to discover your strengths and to determine what lights you up, then every choice you're faced with is an opportunity to discover, learn, explore, and grow and to move down that path. You're never going to make a bad choice. You're only going to be making choices that allow you to grow 
And I think that is beautiful. So this week, when you are faced with a choice that feels kind of squishy and uncomfortable and you're not sure you really want to do it, instead of focusing on the fear or the I can't, or oh my gosh, what if it all goes to hell in a handbasket and it just doesn't work out, instead ask yourself this, what can I learn or discover about myself if I do this? What can I learn or discover about myself if I do this? Wow. Yep, you have the power and the knowledge to make good choices, especially when you frame those decisions around how does this help me grow? How does this help me embrace who I am? This is Kirsten with Kismet wishing you the most amazing week. Hugs and kisses till next time. In love and light.